The goal of this encounter is to get the three obelisks around the encounter to each accept one offering. The obelisks are the three-sided towers that have nine panels that will fill with symbols. And an offering is a set of three symbols that can be input into an obelisk by shooting the panels with said symbol. Finding the correct symbol for the offering is the meat of the encounter and requires multiple steps. There are three obelisks in the room that need to be protected. After the encounter has started, these obelisks will begin to fill with orange light. Once the light reaches the top of any of the three obelisks, the ritual will conclude and your team will be wiped. If the abated adherent enemies shoot the obelisk, time will be deducted. But completing any action to progress the encounter will extend the timer. So it's important to keep the enemies cleared and move quickly. Each obelisk is accompanied by a totem with three panels for symbols. These totems will fill with symbols that are key to guiding us through the rest of the encounter, but can only be read from close up, so it's important to always have someone near one of these totems. In addition to the three obelisks and totems, the main encounter room has nine different rooms around the outskirts marked by various symbols. These rooms and symbols are static and never change. Both the main room and inner rooms are split into two different sides as denoted by the large symbols you see when you enter. Pyramid and Traveler for the main room and Light and Dark for the inner rooms. These sides are important for denoting which side of the room houses an enemy that you need to kill. The encounter starts by shooting the crux floating in the middle of the room. Once the encounter begins, one of the totems accompanying each obelisk will fill with either a pyramid or a traveler symbol at its top panel. This symbol tells us which side of the room a special taken knight called a disciple's compass has spawned. These knights have set spawns within each section, but they are typically hidden away from the obelisks, so you will need to be proactive in hunting them down. Once the compass is killed, the second panel will fill with a symbol corresponding to one of the nine rooms around the main encounter. Send someone into said room. If the room is closed off, just shoot the crux in the middle of the room used to start the encounter. It will cycle the doors, closing all open ones and opening all closed ones, and can be seen from all three obelisks. Inside the room will be two solar shielded captains called glyph keepers. Each glyph keeper will spawn a glyph containing a symbol for the offering when killed, but only one of the two glyphs is correct. The correct glyph is determined back on the totem. Once you enter the room and the glyph keeper spawn, the panel on the totem will fill with a light or dark symbol. Kill the glyph keeper on the corresponding side of the room for the correct symbol and memorize it. There is no consequence to killing the other glyph keeper. Just make sure to ignore the glyph spawn by the incorrect one. This process will repeat itself for all three totems, about a step apart. For example, a subsequent totem will get its first symbol when the previous totem gets its second, so making concise callouts and keeping side comps to a minimum can really help. Once all three correct glyph keepers have been killed, the obelisks will fill with nine symbols, and it's time to enter the offering. Recall the symbols, shown from the glyph keepers, and find the obelisk that contains all three symbols, and then shoot them. They need to be shot with little downtime between, so Ask for help sh to shoot all three if you need more people to look at all different sides, because no enemies will spawn during this section. If the incorrect symbols are shot or too much time has passed, the offering will be rejected, each obelisk will have time deducted, and the symbols will mix around each of the obelisk. If done correctly, the offering will be accepted, and you'll have a moment to breathe before repeating the whole process again for the remaining obelisks. Once an obelisk has accepted an offering, it will no longer be the obelisk that you need to shoot with the three correct symbols, but you will still need to protect it. This is a puzzle encounter, with no bosses and many enemies. The best weapon loadouts to use are the ones that clear mobs fast. Having a way to do burst damage will help take out the unstoppable abomination before it overwhelms you, and if it's solar, it can help kill the glyph keepers relatively quickly. There will be a lot of enemies to clear, including the unstoppable abominations mentioned earlier. So, during the three different waves, we decided it was best to split our team into three groups of two. One person in each group would focus on protecting the obelisk and reading the totem, while the other handled tasks that required moving from the obelisk, such as killing the compass or entering the rooms. Just make sure everyone is clearing enemies when not away, and that the player protecting the obelisk has an unstoppable mod. We left each group in charge of killing compasses and entering the rooms nearest their obelisk, but having each pair focus fully on completing their totem, regardless of where the compass or room may be, 
might be a little less hectic for some teams. This encounter has a simple rhythm or groove to it once you get going. The hardest part of this encounter is making sure that all callouts are heard and memorizing the many symbols. Luckily, there's a room just before the encounter that shows every symbol in the raid. These symbols are given names below on your radar when you approach. Or, you know, you could just look up an infographic online. They are plenty. But I do highly suggest that you use the official names for these symbols as not to cause confusion. And be sure to remember them as best you can because they are used for all the following encounters. Yeah. On. Oh my god, if there's a fucking. Oh, it's a chest! Yes, New let's go! go! Oh, Alright, boys, first go. encounter. <laughs> that only took us. <laughs> Oh my god. Go. But we figured out uh, literally every single thing about it. Holy shit. Good job, guys.